<laughs> the butchering animation is just bashing the hell out of it with the big sword. Is that not how you butcher? <laughs> it's a little more finesse than that, but yeah. <laughs> By the way, we've reached the end of our first half hour. Big thank you to our friends at Campfire Studios, the developers, and Kulan Games, the publishers. This is Soul Mass, currently entering early access. You can find more information in the pinned chat in me or Dan's stream. And uh, yeah, if you want more information, if you do click that link, it very much helps support me and Dan's channel. So big thanks to those that click on it. Appreciate it, guys. Oh, and mods, if we could please ping, uh, excuse me, pin the soul mask command. That would be great. Thank you, thank you. Okay, did I actually get the wood from the tree when it fell? When it, oh, what is this? I just hit I. Okay. Uh, oh, here. I don't know what that is. Yes, that's we did. a cool looking interface. Yeah, I think that's for our tribesmen when we start taking people. Oh, that makes sense. There's like a whole hunting leveling system, which is really cool. Yeah, everything I was doing, I was getting leveling up um, the skill for it. So logging, mining. So as you level up your hunting rank, you get more from animals, make less noise when approaching them, and you're more stealthy. Eventually, you can turn your prey into specimens, whatever that makes. Then you start doing more damage against them. Then you start doing more damage to their weak spots. And eventually, just weaker ones stop attacking you. That's cool. You got to make a spear, Co. Oh, I already did. It is so cool. <laughs> I know, I, I'm, can... I'm on the way to do that. Okay. How are you liking it? There, You can throw your spear, and a rope attaches to it, and you can pull things to you with it, like scorpion. In Mortal Kombat, it's great. And then it's the F button. What? What? Oh, dude, that is too cool. And then you can just, you can, oh. Oh, wait, oh, there's like a, oh, if you hold Get right here. click, there's like a, I think there's a parry system? Yeah, looks like it. Whee! Do I need to heal? Craft and use the butcher's knife to dissect an animal carcass. Okay. Dissect an animal carcass. Is that, is that like what the chopping, step you're on? but yeah. <laughs> More here. It's just violently <laughs> chopping the torch. Okay. Yeah, it's like budget surgery. <laughs> I don't think those are two words that should ever be in the same sentence. That's, yeah, fair. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Press tab to open the toolbar, select any cooked meat, and press E to consume. Okay, let's go cook some meat. Okay. This game looks sick, says Veo. It's, it's been pretty cool so far. It looks like there's a lot which is surprising considering it's early access. Um, it feels so far, so you know, I'll, I'll just give you my initial thing so far. Um, this is a standard survival game so far. That's what this game is. At its base, it is a, mm -hmm. it is a standard survival game. Um, however, just like every standard survival game, that means, okay, what makes this one special? Because there's a bunch of these games, so why is this one special? So, so far, what I can say what makes this one special um, it does look to be doing something kind of weird with the lore, uh, kind of arky, where it's like primitive people in a more advanced world, um, which seems kind of cool. It does look like there is a lot of of room for improvement, which is great in games like this. A lot of a lot of room to grow. Uh, this is a knowledge and technology tree. Each of these little things has a sub menu of different things you can get from it. You move through different ages which means there's a lot of content, which is great for survival games. One of the first things you look at is how much content a survival game has, because you don't want to spend 
30 hours making an awesome base just to have two more hours of content to do. So yeah, it looks like there's a ton to do here. There's also five bosses in a large map that you have, so you have goals, which is nice. A lot of times people play these games and they, like Zeke is a good example. They don't feel like they have goals. Well, in this game, you have five bosses to kill and then apparently that will then lead you to an ultimate boss who has the secrets of what the masks are and that kind of stuff. Masks, by the way, are the game's class system. So we're currently using a conquest mask, which has different unlocks, but you can get different masks and then you can level those up and you can switch them around. Um, then the last thing I'd say that, that, again, kind of playing into the, you'll probably get your money's worth if you like this kind of thing. This is what you can craft in this game on your character. And then this is what you can craft in this game total. And again, if you're a survival game fan and you like spending a lot of time in games, you're probably looking at me doing this and you're going, oh my God because there's a lot of players that like to build everything that you can in games like this. Um, they like doing their big total runs. And uh, considering this game is early access, you're gonna be playing this for a long time. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's so far, again, I've only been playing it for a half hour, but uh, so far it, it feels pretty good. There's definitely um, a lack of polish, which is to be expected from an early access title. Like the whole beginning sequence was really disjointed and, and didn't really explain much and it was weird. But once we landed here, once the game actually started, and that's totally understandable. I mean, again, early access, intro and stuff that, you know, that's that's not always first. Um, but once we landed here in the world, it's been pretty much fine since then. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope that this answers your also, question. That's where we are so it's far. It's also the only game called Soul Mask that's a survival game. So it's got that going for it. Absolutely. Yeah. That's a great point. Uh, okay, so we need to get basic building thatch foundation. It looks just like Ark. It looks just like Ark in Valheim and it's Shrouded and Conan, and all those games, because they're the same genre of game. Yeah. Um, that's that's what genre of game is. Just like lots, lots of shooters look like each other. It like, doesn't make them the same. You are the mask in the game. You play the mask, and you have to transfer the mask to new bodies to activate, to advance down the stats. Hmm. Wait. No, no, no. No. No, I don't, I don't think you're the mask. I think you're the person, which is why you created the character. Smoke it. Wait. You can swap bodies? Also, thank you for that reference, Dan. I, I appreciate you. Can we do that person. in real life? That would be great. <laughs> you put the mask on other people and you play as them. Then why did we make this character? I'm yeah, so I don't confused understand right that. <laughs> Is this character's mind going through the mask into the other characters? And you guys are just thinking that you the person's the mask, but actually the mask is just the conduit in which this character's controlling them? Is the mask a metaphor for life? You can't say yes, Guardian Angels, because you're the one that just said the other thing. You can't you can't have your cake and eat it too, buddy. You gotta pick one. I literally just said two different sides of the argument. You can't There's just always go, one in yes. chat, Keller. There's always one. No. <laughs> Guardian Angels is like, did you know you're the mask? And I'm like, oh, wow. But what if we're not the mask? And he's like, you aren't. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but uh, that, that, there is, the mask system, obviously, I do not fully understand. But it is something that makes this game uh, definitely a little more unique. Also, one thing that we haven't explored at all yet... And, this, and I think this is similar to Conan, is that it does look like this game has this whole kind of NPC tribe system. No, 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 hold on. Tribes are with other players. Clan is with NPCs. So you can hire, hire clan members, and then apparently you can um, ask them to work on different things in your base for you. Kind of like you ask your pals to join you and work on things. Forcibly ask them. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Interns. Yes, you have uh, forced internships. That's 
<laughs> accurate. Um, so what you can do, for instance, if like if my base is over there, I can I can hire this guy by saying, "Would you like to come work with me? Come on down." And then you bring him back to your base. Boop. Nope. Wow, I pulled him to me to get murdered. That's the worst way to do that. Where is my stamina? I need to heal. I don't even know how to heal. Discover long press. Wait, what? Long press. Long press. I, oh my god, this man just murdered me with a spit attack. <laughs> oh my lord. I don't even know what just happened. If I you read close. the manual, you would know what stamina is. Brother, I only have a two-hour sponsored stream. I don't have time to read that whole tutorial thing. I just don't have time. Oh, we need a dissertation on this <clears throat> entire game. I do not have time to minutes. class. Let's go, mister. Yeah, I know. Mm -mm. Okay. We need to make some armor and stuff. Uh, let, let's, we're going to keep, before I start bringing people in here, man, that is so many buttons. Okay. So, um, let's do the tutorial and maybe we can craft some armor or something. Press tab to enter crafting and craft thick rope times 12. Press J, uh, press F to craft all and right mouse to select multiple number. Oh, okay. That's cool. Nope. I'll do that. Thanks, Ray. Tutorials are kind of like those manuals used to come with NES games. I never read them. I just jumped into the game and started playing. I'm kind of the same way. For me, what I used to do with manuals is I was I would always like open my game, put it in whatever system I was playing with, and then like frisbee the manual into the bathroom because I knew that I would need bathroom reading eventually, and then just forget <laughs> about it. Convenient location for bathroom mat reading yep. material. Also, dude, I used to buy uh, strategy guides for games that I didn't even plan on playing. And I would just read through the strategy guides. Nintendo Power was like the thing back in the day. I remember mm -hmm. reading main, like strategy guides they put in the, that for games. Oh, who are these people? These are people we need to uh, hire. Oh, our, for our internship? Cool. For our, for our internship program. Cool. Oh god, no, 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 no! Where's a roll? You can roll with alt! Oh, Ooh. oh, ow. Ow, he punched me. I really give up, hard. don't hit me. That guy's saying, I give up, don't hit me. Can you can you do something to him? Uh, oh. you're hired! Oh, no, he just said it, but he's still attacking. The man lied to me! Up the wolf taking big damage. Oh, oh he... Dana just got lied to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think you have to do it real quick, from the looks of it. Yeah, or something. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't gotten to that tutorial part yet. <laughs> I just, yeah, we, we probably, probably should not be doing this quite yet. Co, I see both your dead corpse and you at the same time. That's concerning. Hi. Yeah, it's me. Your doppelganger. Hmm. Mm hmm. 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 Here we go. This. Let me scythe you! There we go. Scything's so hard right now. Forgot about this scythe and it was manually harvesting. Oops. I wish I could put the torch around my waist or something so I could see. I know, right? There's gotta be some kind of craftable, usable light like that eventually. But the tech in this game is probably a flashlight for all we know. Right. Okay. There it is. Obtain poisonous bug. Put it back. I don't want that.
Make a torch. Yo, look at the How sun coming up. That is beautiful. The sun? Yeah, it's, it's over here. It's coming up. It's bright red. Oh, dude. So pretty. What? That is really pretty. Also, a couple quick points. I absolutely love that when you fully loot your corpse, it puts the items back on your hotbar exactly where you left them. Oh, that's nice. Look at you be rising. Don't do okay, that. Love you guys. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm. It's beautiful. It is. Yeah. This this game graphically is is definitely a, definitely a win. All right. There's my baby turkey. I don't want my baby turkey. I'm, where are you, Dan? What are you up to? I'll find these um, I just been gathering much of stuff. I was going through the tutorial messages. Got myself some armor on. Oh, you got well, your armor. Like a, a oh, sheet dude. of cloth, but I'm gonna pretend like it'll protect me. I like it. Linen gear. Here we go. Linen defense gear and linen attack gear. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, the game kind of makes you want to craft multiple things. Just trying to get those blue procs. Mm hmm. Oh, I think that's gonna be a very, a very big thing about this game. You're never going to want to craft just one usable thing that can r and yeah, like, I don't wear rain gear. Ew. <laughs> I'm blue only. Thank you. Blue is meh. There's purple and gold after. Oh, good. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my. All right. There we go. Now we need to do three pieces of linen, linen gear, costume, pants, and shoes. Costume. It's an interesting name for that. Whoa. I uh, apparently just made two purple pieces of armor. Wow. Purple? Damn. Two purples and a blue. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So it's just like random, random. We'll take it. And then a gray necklace. Swamp Womp. Womp Womp. Okay. Uh, basic weaving, simple weaving. Great. Oh, need to acquire loom. Oh, it'll auto open, or it'll auto learn the prequisite text. Nice. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I tried to craft something that I didn't have enough things for, and then it tried to auto craft it for me. Hmm. Let me see. Let me see if I can confirm if that's actually what happened. I think I made They're... the I made the linen shoes, and when I went to make them, it like cued a thick rope on its own. But now I'm noticing I have an extra thick rope, so maybe I just fat fingered something. There must be sieging in this game because you can make a battering ram. Yep. Saw that. Yeah, there, there's a few other siege engines in that big, big list that you can look yeah. in. Fertilizer bucket. We call that a toilet. <clears throat> okay. Uh, simple bandage three times. Looking for a simple bandage. There. Just linen. Okay. And the linen we just need to harvest. Okay, cool. Is this full loot PvP? I am not sure of the PvP stuff. Let me see if I have anything in my little guide here. Uh, Soul Mass features a complex system requiring base-centric production and development. The game's core is its tribe system, which allows for automated resource gathering by tribesmen with a sophisticated tribe management system that reduces repetitive tasks and allows control over stronger tribesmen to overcome the initial character's limitations, which are a key late-game objective. So you can use the mask from this character to put on someone else and then control them and you can get people with physical attributes that will allow you to control them into places you can't get to with this character. Cool. I like that. It's like kind of mind fun. control almost. It, 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 the mask crazy. is like a mind control. That's exactly right from the sounds of it. That's cool. Yep. Um. Cool. Okay. 
Yeah, Guardian. No, I, I think it's, I think you are the character and the mask is just a conduit to control other characters. Yeah. I mean, from a technical perspective, it's, it's you know, lots of different things. Who, who knows what systems they have at play behind the scenes, but I think from a lore perspective, that's how it works. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's see. We need to do a lot more of this stuff. Then going on here, uh, Soul Mask is offering diverse combat with eight weapons and 75 skills. Wow, that's a lot of skills. Merge, Soul, and Mask. Envy an NPC... and. Envy an NPC's powerful talent or unique skill, make it your own. In Soul Mask, synchronize your consciousness with the tribesmen as you recruit them to strengthen your tribe. You can play as a lone wolf without using any tribesmen, or you can recruit a multitude of different NPCs with different personalities and talents. You can recruit bloodthirsty warriors, dexterous hunters, and ingenious craftsmen, and even a drunk, lazy alcoholic. I didn't know I was in this game. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> uh, diverse action combat based on reality. The game currently provides eight different styles of weapons with 67 different supporting combat skills and special action modules, each of which strictly restores the experience of real physical characteristics. And you know, that sounds like a lot of buzzwords, but when I threw this and that actually had like an arc and then you pull it back and that does a thing, like if every weapon has stuff like that, that would actually be pretty wild. There. Yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. Roam in a vast world, including rainforests, rivers, deserts, plateaus, wetlands, volcanoes, snowy mountains, and experience, survive, and challenge the unique climate and creatures in every different... So Just that, running over here that's from the big... middle of the map, like, I went through, like, three mm -hmm. biomes. It was yep. great. By the way, a lot of you guys have asked what kind of notes we receive when we do sponsored streams. Well, I just read you this one. That's, that's the kind of stuff we get for sponsored streams. Where it's like, you know, what's the game about? What are the features? What's it important for people to know? That kind of stuff. But yeah, I mean, for, for anyone wondering, this this game seems like it's a it's a lot for survival fans for sure. If you're looking for that, if you're a survival fan, kind of looking for that next one to play, you've already played everything that's out there, and you're looking for that next one. I would say this is definitely one to check out. Uh, I keep hitting I to go to my inventory. That's not right. Does it show you crafting when you're not in the mid? I don't think it does. It should totally. Oh, yeah, it does in the bottom right. There it is. Cool. <clears throat> All right, now we need three bandages. Lots of rope for crafting. Mm -hmm. Lots of it. Oh, you're getting some stuff down. I like it. Yeah, I got a couple foundations down. Playing around with the crafting system. In these kind of PvP games, I'm the builder. I build the castle, I build the defenses. I hear you, man. Wooden stone to the bone. I think they can just get rid of the stamina low sound. I don't need that. I think out of com out of combat there should not be stamina in most games. Agreed. Completely. Yeah. Unless unless there's some pressing gameplay reason. Yeah. That it just gets in the way. It's useless. There's nothing more frustrating than playing like a big RPG and you're running around like a town you can't even fight in and your stamina is draining while you're sprinting. Yeah. <laughs> There's like nothing more frustrating. Yeah. Like earlier this year playing Dragon's Dogma, like I constantly thought yeah. stamina is running. I know. It's, <laughs> it's like, dude, there's not an enemy around like for 500 miles. It's okay. We're good. Okay. Oh, we can try this now. So if I go to foundation and I click this, and I build 10 insufficient materials. So it didn't auto build the rope. Okay. Okay. That's what I was wondering.
I just got here five minutes ago, was only half paying attention, and I thought Ko suddenly had a lot of Dan gaming quips on his soundboard. Oh, and then I was just playing Dan clips from my soundboard that I wasn't actually playing with him? Well, see, now I want to do that. <laughs> now, now, I, now I gotta set up a meeting with Dan and record it, and then I'm just gonna make a whole bunch of random things and just soundboard a uh, upstream with Dan one day. Thank you for joining the coalition. And that's recorded. That's mine now. Good vibes for everybody. Oh my god, owned by Co Carnage Industries. Done. Done. Dan, I'm gonna turn you into an AI, buddy. Woo! Too late. Yep. Oh wait, what? Hacking into system. No! No! <laughs> no! I've been hoodwinked, bamboozled. <laughs> I okay. just needed a voice print. Now I'm into all your systems. Oh, super. Again? God damn, we talked yep. about this. <sighs> all right. So, uh, I need a bajillion more rope. How many more foundations can I make? Oh, 13. Whoops. Okay. Well, we're good. All right. So, how are they doing the, the crafting, Dan? Is there, like... Is it like I'm once needing... human where we get our own little? Whoa! Yeah, I got. Uh, it's sort of like you build pieces and you plop them down on Bro, the world. I don't. I can just build onto yours. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> Is... Really? Oh, maybe it's maybe it's auto doing it because we're in the same clan or something. Yeah, so I think we're because we're in the same clan. Why is the durability of these one of fifty? Oh, they're constructing. Yeah, they... They're not. They said something about if it's not near a, a, a lit giant bonfire, things decay. So. Oh. I'm not sure that's right. what that is. I mean, there's a lit bonfire here. Oh, it's a campfire. Maybe that's different from a. Yeah, bonfire. I don't know what the, what bonfire they're talking about. Oh, here's a bonfire, and that's locked. A large bonfire that provides warmth. People gather around it, and nearby buildings no longer decay. This takes stone, flint, logs, hardwood, and branches. Okay, cool. So I'll cut down some trees here. Do you have any flint, Dan? I oh, I've seen any flint. Do, Maybe you just have to it's, break them. Uh, it's the rocks all around. Great. You break them, though they're kind of yellowish. Perfect. Dang, I found a big boy tree. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh yeah, there's some flint. Great. The mining looks good. Yeah, it's very detailed. I think it even breaks like where your tool is hitting it. I wish it was that quick in real life. I know, right? No. Uh, Dawn of Tribe Bonfire. Bam. Okay. Craft one bonfire. I need much more logs and hardwood. Grab those. Oh, we are also at the end of our first hour. A uh, big thank you to our friends at Campfire Studio and Kulan Games. This is Soul Mask. If you'd like more information and you'd like to help support me and Dan, there's a link in our in our channels that you can click on. And uh, if you, that'll get you a lot more info. And again, it's a tracked link. So every click counts. And we really appreciate those that click it. So thank you to them. And thank you to the devs for sponsoring the stream. Thank you, guys. Mm-hmm. Some recipes give you a choice of the exact item you want to use to craft with, like hardwood versus logs, etc. Make sure to uncheck green diamond, the rarer mat, so you don't use them to craft with in each recipe. Otherwise, it'll just use whatever you have. Good tip. Good tip. <laughs> 